Yeah, it has been a while since I last played. It'll be over a year now. So to get the opportunity to get back out there and be in that environment was, was just great, really. Uh, and to share it with uh, another couple of lads that were making their de debut in Tian and Ewan was uh, pretty special. I think there is quite a lot of um, skills that are transferable between 7s and 15s, um, especially the aerial work. Uh, did a lot of work with James Rodwell at the 7s working on aerial um, sort of competition. I feel like that transfers over a lot. Um, and then a lot of being able to manipulate defenders and just try to find that space really. I think you can see the game of 15s is moving that way. There's a lot more kicking now as there were a good few years ago. So I feel like having that aerial ability is uh, sort of quite a strong, a strong attribute to have. Yeah, well, I've been working pretty closely with the other wingers who we've got um, arguably the best, some of the best back three players in the world here. So having them at hand, keeping me right, keeping me on the right page and, and learning from them has been, been great, along with working closely with Gervin Dempsey, Ryan Davies and a lot of this, uh, the backs work. So the quality of the, the book Super Rugby really sort of sets you on that pathway of being a professional rugby player. Um, especially at Northumbria when Darren Fern came in, the programme was sort of taking up a few levels. It was a much more professional environment and uh, it really sort of set the foundations to push on to be a professional player. So the league itself, it really offers sort of a competitive environment and uh, offers that sort of opportunity for players to be to be playing against the best players at university level and that will help them push forward and uh, set them on their way to become a professional rugby player.